What's up weirdos? I don't care if you're a sexy elderly black man, you shouldn't be dating teenage lesbians. And that's a point I stand on, and it's a point that Sean today needs to have heard. The couple today is Sean and Honey. And again, when we start this video, I beseech you, look at Honey's perspective with a little bit of empathy, because really, Sean here should not morally be doing what he has done. A couple weeks ago, they did an interview about their relationship, and I just need to show you the intro to the video so you can really understand what's going on here. This is Honey. She fell in love with Sean. Before we got together, I was a lesbian. She is old enough to be my daughter. <laughs> Hey, this is the perfect example of why I love these kinds of videos. Because it's 10 seconds in and there's so much information that we're just being blasted with. This is Honey. She's 23. She fell in love with a 51-year-old man. And then it cuts to her saying that she was a lesbian and then him saying she's old enough to be his daughter. Which, okay, I really, I know we just watched that together. But, like, it's so good. And by good, I mean absolutely terrifying. So let's let them talk for a little bit. But I also want to, at some point, go to the description of this video and add a little bit more context. But let's let them talk first. I'm 23. Um, I'm 51. In 2018, we met outside a vegan restaurant. We decided to sit at the same booth and um, had a blind date that we didn't plan. So that is their version of the story, that they met at a vegan restaurant, kind of an adult place to meet. They had an unplanned blind date and things just went on from there. By the way, she's 23 and he's 51. God, isn't that creepy? Also, by the way, in 2000, 18. Now I know what your ass is thinking. 2018, that was just a couple years ago, right? That was six years ago. She is 23, are you tracking? What's 23 minus six? Uh, 17? Now listen, I know, I know. Maybe because of her birthday and when they met in 2018, maybe she was already 18. Okay, so then why was a 45 year old man talking to a freshly 18 lesbian? You are starting off this story ignoring a very major thing. This man met a lesbian when she was a teenager and he was 45. How is this being filmed and put on television? Okay, let's keep watching. Maybe it gets not the exact thing that it is. Horrible, okay, keep watching. I say it's love at first sight. He may beg to differ. That chocolate kind of enticed me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's so charming. That chocolate enticed you, did it? When it was, you know, a teenager and you were 45? That's not cool. What are you talking about? By the way, you should be so nervous to be getting filmed right now. You gotta be terrified that Chris Hansen's gonna bust through that door. Freshly 18? Am I missing something here? I don't know, when did this come out? Maybe saying 2018 wasn't that crazy if this was filmed in 2019, because then she still would have been 22. Guess what? I did the research. Look at this. In February of this year, when you spent the whole day shooting a for a show with your love. Oh, interesting. It's them literally the day that we're watching in the video. So this video was filmed this year. Last month. So the timeline has to mean that she was a teenage lesbian. So I don't think that you saying anything about the chocolate enticing you is very charming, pal. That chocolate kind of enticed me. Sean! Sean! Hey, but that's me. But so that's me. God, we just got started. Let's keep going. Oh my God. What I love most about her is that she's not me. I don't think nobody should want someone just like themselves. I'm a photographer and she a model as well. That was an interesting little throwaway line right there. She's also a model and I'm a photographer. Just throw that out there a little bit. So am I actually believing the vegan restaurant story right now? Kind of not. Because listen, I've run into a couple of male photographers in my life, especially the male photographers who shoot young women. I know my dudes out there know it. When a dude sees a male photographer that shoots young women, there's nobody who hates him more. I think it's a thing all dudes agree on. I think it's a type of dude that every dude agrees on is the worst, creepiest type of dude, in my opinion. But hey, maybe they did just meet at a vegan restaurant. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. We're working out and a lady came up to me and she was like, that's very nice of you to work out with your dad. <laughs> and I was like, uh, and I think she was just trying to be funny. I ain't had no problem with that. She is old enough to be my daughter. I gotta say, every time he says anything, it's just the creepiest thing he could have said. She's describing a situation that was very uncomfortable for her, where a woman came up and said that basically she looks like she's working out with her dad. She's recounting the story of an uncomfortable situation. And after that whole anecdote, the only thing that he said was, I ain't had no problem with that. She is old enough to be my daughter. I had no problem. She is old enough to be my daughter. Oh, babe, that thing that bothers you about an older woman coming up and approaching you worried because it looks like you're working out with your dad 
and it turns out that it's actually your husband? Yeah, that really traumatic experience, I totally get where she's coming from because it is basically what I am doing, is being a creepy husband. Like he's acknowledging, oh no, 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 this is real. I am a 51 year old man fully knowing that I'm basically dating my daughter. But let's keep watching, see what he says next. People tend to judge our relationship because I One woman guy. What the hell are you talking about, Sean? By the way, that's why I've been saying lesbian this whole time because when they met, she was a lesbian. That's what that's what they're saying. Like, I feel like I should clarify because she's, I guess, not identifying as a lesbian now. So what am I gonna call her? A lesbian if she says she's not? No, but you know, she was when he met her and when she was a teenager. I would say most men in the, in the world would actually want their woman to be. You would assume that most other men would want their woman to have been a lesbian so she'll have touched other women and what are we talking about? Are you being interviewed by the same crew? What are, what are you saying right now? So you're just unprompted saying, yeah, I think it's really hot when women have touched other women because, you know, people get excited about the possibility. The possibility of what? Wh what? So this feels like a fetish type of situation that he then projected onto a teenage girl until she was his. But again, in all fairness, he does say at the end of that little statement. But for me, I'm pretty much a one woman guy. But for me, I'm pretty much one one the guy. So so you're enthralled by the possibility of a threesome because you find the sapphic aspects of it nice. It'd be so funny if he said that. I think I'm attracted to a sort of sapphic love, so <laughs> like what it means, to, but either. I don't even want to think about that. The fact that it's basically just saying that it's kind of a fetish, but you know, he's just with her. Thinking about their relationship in that way, God. And remembering that it started when she was again, 18 at best. Bother me, but then I don't got, I got to understand who she is as a person. I don't got over that issue. Almost completely. That's a still a work in progress. Still a work in progress. A little bit of an issue. The whole fact that your wife has been with other women. When has she been with other women? Oh yeah, when she was in her mid teenage years. And I am a 51 year old man still thinking about when my, again, teenage girlfriend was experimenting with her womanly lesbian sapphic love. In her mid teenage years. Her mid teenage years. And you're 51 years old thinking about this. Emotionally mature and mentally progressed beyond the age of 16, which is why you're attracted to children. Like, stop it. Get some help. Get some help. We're two minutes into this video. Oh my God. My family wasn't really the biggest fan of me being a lesbian because my family, Christian, Haitian, the normal morals they wanted me to have. But um, so it was never an issue on my end, even though he's 20 years older than me. Okay, adding on a little bit of lore, she was not in an environment where it was conducive or safe for her to be a lesbian. Like you can't feel emotionally safe in a situation where you're feeling judged constantly. Okay, so a homophobic Haitian Christian household at her mid teenage years, and then she suddenly switches and gets into a relationship with a man. Again, this whole situation sounds very predatory for the man to be doing this. When you are 51 years old and are actively engaged in a inner conflict of a high school girl and her parents like emotional lives. Do you know what I mean? Like, like he should not be dating women who are teenagers that are living with their parents. Do you know what I mean? He should be dating, I don't know, other self-sufficient women, but maybe he can't and that's why he is a predator. I'm not gonna say it, but the actions seem predatory. They seem very bad. And I don't care if it's legal, it seems very awful. You should not be dating a high school senior. You should be cruising around the senior center, picking up dropouts from the local nursing home. Oh my God, by the, I just noticed, I've been wearing this. This is not, I shouldn't have be, oh God. This is a necklace the design that is not coming out yet. It's coming out in the next collection. I'm releasing four new ones. Shit, I'm not refilming this video. So I guess, announcement. <laughs> I'm not gonna show the other ones cause I don't want to. I wanna leave that for a reveal. But yeah, this one's really, really cool. I guess I can wear it in my videos now. It's called the Gustav, named after my dog. I should show him. You don't think it kind of matches? You don't think that's a little bit of Gustav right there? You don't think that make a good collar? Anyways, go to uh, weirdothings.com. Get you a high quality pearl and natural gemstone necklace. Good boy. Okay, back to the horror film. So it was never an issue on my end, even though he's 20 years older than me. They were just happy, you know, future kids was <laughs> happening. Oh my God. This is such a sad situation for a high school senior to be in. Not necessarily a situation where a 51 year old man should be coming in. And the fact that her parents were like, eh, he's 51. Yeah, but at least she's straight now. What is going on in that household? This 51 year old man is a demon for coming into this situation. Well, my mother's allowed. Are you sure? 
by the age at first, you know, she was like, well, she's way younger, you know, you're gonna get older and eventually, you know, she's gonna grow out of that. She felt like once they like women, even on the other side, they're gonna always crave that. Oh my God, what the fuck? Oh yeah, that is some classic old generation homophobia right there. Oh my God. Yeah, that woman's been with a woman. And once they've been with a woman, they always go back. Hey, let's meet. How are you going fucking insane right now in the comments? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. I mean, that is some real life homophobia, like 2003 homophobia. The fact that that is even an issue at all in this video. No, 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 no. Actually, it's about the man who was dating a high school senior. Maybe she'd already graduated. Maybe she'd already, but she was 18 at best. And 18 at best, by the way, definitely an R. Kelly lyric, is not a good way to be thinking about a relationship when it's with a 45 year old man or 46, 45 at best. Also known as Leonardo DiCaprio's on screen Romances. Okay, let's keep going. Here I come. And they'll never be faithful. So that was one of her doubts that she'll find a woman later on down the line. Though they will always crave women, and later down the line, they will absolutely find another woman. They will leave your dumb ass. That's why I had to make a video about this, because I feel like the video is just a whole buried lead. What's interesting about this is that she used to be lesbian. No, 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 no. But then they get into some of the comments they've been receiving online. Someone said, you need to crave this Bible. Some people are like, oh, is that your dad? Or can you even get up? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. So that, 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 all, that, all that is is a guy wishing was in my Yeah, position, so. yeah. And to be honest, a lot of these videos seem like some stupid way of like marketing these age gap couples, like relationship accounts. And it never works. And it's just creepy. And people are just like, ew. But this is the first couple that's like not really famous online. Like they said, follow the couple here at the humps cool i wonder who came up with that title sean it has 91 followers 91 and it's the official one this is the humps her tiktok account only 4,500. not an influencer really her instagram has ten and a half thousand. but listen i have 230,000. by the way follow me on instagram i have a little bit too much fun on my instagram stories those who know know but the thing is nobody cares about me is my point that like i don't have like a big instagram and she really doesn't <laughs> sounds like i'm roasting her i'm not trying to roast her i'm just saying is the best way to promote yourself really that my husband is a predator and I, you know, I'm just gonna say, is he? Legality aside, I'm sure it's legal, but is it morally? Can you pay your debt to your soul, Sean? She gets a lot of men on her posts. So I guess they see my age and feel like they got an opportunity because it, she like older men. So a Do lot I? of older men. I barely it, like it, men, so how, but, how we get but, to older but, men? But, but for me. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry that we're watching this, sorry. You insecure ass man. You are 51 years old still dealing with these middle school jealousies? You are a bitch. These comments saying that I can't get it up. Psh, I can give it, come on, come on, I can get it, come on. I pop one of those blue diamonds, come on, I'm a stallion. <laughs> okay, okay, I believe you, I believe you. You don't have to insist that you definitely Fuck your wife who you met when she was 18 at best. By the way, that line, yeah, of like older men think that they have a chance and then her going older men. Again, listen, I'm not gonna deny anybody their sexual identity and orientation, but that was a very strong reaction after saying that she's basically forced by her household and family to suppress her, you know? And then saying there that like, men, I don't know. It doesn't make me mad at her. It just makes me more and more upset at how this man is a predator in this situation. When they met, she was the definition of an emotionally vulnerable teenager. And your 55 year old ass said, yeah, I'm gonna get all up in that relationship relationship until we're married to an emotionally vulnerable teenager. Cool, that chocolate enticed you. That chocolate kind of enticed me. Judgment honestly doesn't really bother me. I know we're different, so I expect some judgments, but um, I don't really take it to the heart. A lot of people, they see us and, you know, they assume sugar daddy, sugar baby, or, you know, something like that. And then they get to know us and they're like, y'all have relationship goals, like I wish I had what y'all had. And he broke too. So it's real love. Stop. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? It's oh, it's not funny. Oh, ho, ho, it's not. All these people are coming up to us saying, "You guys are relationship goals." No, you're not. There's no world where that's your goal. And if you are somebody's goal, then I guarantee you it's another 51 year old man who is a mm -mm 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 predator. There's a teenage lesbian out there looking to get married by a 51 year old man. That's a goal for some teenage lesbian. I don't think so, pal. Teenage lesbians got one goal: play some Minecraft and watch some goddamn anime. Also, oh, the guy 
I was broke too. Oh, the people who said the we're relationship goals, uh, the guy's broke. Who the fuck are you? Do you have CTE? I'm being serious, cause are you on a different planet? What are you doing? One story, him and the guy had no money. Unlike me guys, I'm so rich and cool and I'm dating a girl that I met when she was a, again, teenage lesbian, 18 at best. And I'm not broke like that guy was. The fuck up, Sean! Get an ounce of maturity into your little noggin! Well, my cousin and his wife are coming over today. I know they probably had some strong views about our relationship. Uh, so I guess they'll express that when they get here. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna happen by the way. They, I saw a little clip in the preview. They're about to bring this video to a whole nother level. He put it lightly. They're gonna express their opinions and views. I got news for you. They are not fans of Sean and Honey's relationship. Absolutely not fans of it at all. They think that he's a creep and she's a little girl. They might think their cousin's a problem. That's just a little performance I wanted to give you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a song I wrote about how his cousins think that he's a predator. Anyways. Yeah, Carla, she, she'll tell you how she feels because. She's blunt and honest. Not only is she former lesbian. <laughs> yeah, that's what the vibe is gonna be. I love that. Him sitting there waiting for his cousin to come deep into a bottle of wine. He's scared because she's black and honest. She's black and honest. And then she comes in with this opening line. This is so good. This is exactly the energy we need in this household. She's a lot younger than him. So it could go either way down the road. Things can happen and things can be unexpected with Sean that she may not be ready for at her age. It could be a recipe for a disaster. Exactly. First and foremost, obviously we're most worried because she's a former lesbian. We gotta put that up front. Obviously that's why we're most worried. But then you gotta factor in that our cousin's a predator. You gotta also take that into account because yeah, she is a former lesbian when she was a young girl who was then taken in a situation by my predator cousin. Yeah, yeah but really it's the first Part. But at least we're gonna get to addressing it because yeah, can she handle him when he starts shitting his adult diapers next month? I think she mostly dated women before before yeah. got hard to transfer her over But you know <laughs> uh, Looks like he did it by the way. Good point. That's actually a really good point <laughs> You, you dumbass, oh my god. You know, I think she only dated women, so it's, you know, gonna be hard to transfer her over, you know. But he did it! So congratulations to him for getting a 18-year-old at best lesbian at his 45-year-old age and converting her to the straight side, not as a predator at all. But at least we've got one character in the girl who's kind of cognizant of the situation. I'd like to ask her if she would ever want to revert back to maybe dating women. Okay, well, never mind. You dumbass! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Keep going, keep going. But for the love of god, let that part go. I don't know if she switched it off and it's turned off permanently or if it's something that could be turned back on. Sometimes I feel like I don't know that it's flirting per se. I think that it could be maybe a little attraction there as if, if I weren't with Sean, then maybe, you know, she might try me up. I cannot believe she said that. By the way, I'm pretty sure that that is the cousin. That definitely is, by the way. She's the cousin and that's her husband. The men in this situation, get a fucking grip on your smooth bald noggins. But that homophobia coming out of the cousin right there, bro, get a grip. You know how to tell if somebody's straight? If they have a story where there was a gay person who just wouldn't let it Go. A gay person who just wanted their straight ass so fucking bad. A gay person who was publicly moaning and yearning for them. Are you kidding me? By the way, this is true. If you're straight, the most homophobic person you know has a story like that. And you know who it's with? Oh, I don't know. The only gay person that they've ever met. Yeah, I've met a gay person. He couldn't stop wanting to fuck me. Okay. I don't believe you, but that's who she is. And they're gonna confront them. They're on the couch right now. Oh my God, they're gonna confront them about the lesbian stuff, not the fact that He's a fucking predator, in my opinion, based on my knowledge of the facts that have been presented before me. My lawyer is somewhere going, Cooper doesn't have a lawyer. Let's get to the confrontation. Hope this doesn't get homophobic. <laughs> I get it, well, it will. The issue that I have is going forward with the age and um, you just don't know what might come into play. I mean, because what if he's taking a 
follow himself. <gasps> oh my god, this makes me happy she's starting with the good shit. Yes! Because what is she going to be doing if he starts pooping himself? Good point. Yeah, is she going to be woman enough to stick around for her shitty butted husband? Oh, is that the way this whole age conversation is going? Is, is she going to get grossed out and leave him? Not, why are you, Sean, pursuing a relationship with a girl that you met when she was a teenager? 18 at best. That's not what we're going to be talking about today, though. Okay. I mean, because what if he's taking a all over himself? Are you going to stick around for that? Unfortunately. You know? She ain't got no choice. So, <laughs> yeah. She ain't got no choice. Cuz ain't going to let her go like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah listen, I'm worth it. Bitch, shut the fuck fuck up. You're worth it. I'm worth it. She's gonna stick with me. You know why? Because I'm worth it. You weren't worth it for anybody who wasn't in an emotionally vulnerable teenage state, though, were you? Otherwise, maybe you would be married to an age-appropriate woman, not a 51-year-old man who is pursuing a 18-at-best lesbian girlfriend. You're worth it, king. What do the British people say? You're not worth one pence. Yeah, basically, as that, you're not that. I feel like all the blood's left my head and I'm high just on the horror of this video. Let me let me ask you. That is what made the conversation go like this. The fact that their response to that was that. Always gonna have an attraction to women. Really? Yeah, you're not just lesbian one day and then you're not. You are born lesbian and then society makes you straight. What am I talking about? Hey, all my dudes, where are my dudes at? All my dudes out there, we know one thing. It's that we will never understand how a woman who's not a lesbian's mind fully works because we can never comprehend. And if you can comprehend, that's how people know that they're gay. But lesbians are born les <laughs> What the fuck? talking about <laughs> basically i'm saying that this video is ruining my mind and stop acting like this isn't the, just a homophobic and maybe if she still is just attracted to women and not men maybe the conversation should be about how your cousin as a 45 year old man pursued a 18 year old at best lesbian maybe that should be the conversation but that's me so that's me easier to say those things now yeah. but when you're actually forced and put into a situation unwillingly you don't know what the outcome is going to be. Okay, so she's saying there's going to be a woman out there who's going to be coming onto you so hard that you don't know that you're going to be able to say no for my cousin who's a predator for you. In my opinion, according to their words and their uh, reaccounting of the events, a predator by definition of his uh, 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 targeted dating of an emotionally vulnerable 18 at best girl. That's my definition. My lawyer somewhere like, I seriously really should exist right now. But I think that his predatory actions do deserve a little bit more scrutiny. And a little bit less on if a lesbian presses her, will she kiss? Most guys would love it. Me, I could be with just one woman. But if it's gonna, like I told her, if it's gonna be that, then you're gonna have to relinquish them. Me to do whatever I need to do. With I'm honesty. still very skeptical about the relationship. Okay, he immediately folded under pressure. Basically, their compromise is that, yeah, other guys would find it so hot if their girl was with another girl. But me, I'm down, but I'm also going to cheat on other women. Hey, King, Cooper here. If your woman is only attracted to women and not men, and you're a man... Hey, you should probably break up with her, pal. Oh, but she has a choice too. But does she in her Haitian Christian household that doesn't accept her type of lifestyle in her own words? Yeah, you shouldn't be here, Sean. Sean, you shouldn't be here. You have experienced more in life that Honey has experienced. So again, this is my concern. And I feel like in a way, she has been somewhat attracted to me. Oh my God, you get halfway to a good point and then you just throw it into 2009 homophobia. I'm worried cause she's a lot younger than you. Yeah, over double. And that worries me because, you know, I felt like she's even been attracted to me sometimes. Girl, we get it. You are straight and homophobic. You don't have to keep reminding us that every single lesbian that you know has just come on to you like they couldn't stop. You gotta realize that that is the most straight and homophobic thing to say. Especially when you're using it as ways of deflecting from the insane age gap between your cousin and this young girl. Just the, the, um, oh, Carlette, you look so nice or so good. You oh, and I'm just like, no, nice. no, 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 I caught that you once now. Nice. I think you catch that too. Look nice. She compliments women. That, no, and it, I understand. I think one time I was like, Carlette, you look so good. 
What is this music happening in the background? What are you doing? The smooth R&B of the recounting of a, I can only say, strictly homophobic story and framing it like that. Like, this is really the story that this video is. I can't believe that that's what's, what's going on here. Like, this is just a video of four people who think the fact that she used to be a lesbian is the problematic thing here. Not the 45-year-old dude who targetedly dated this 18 at best lesbian. That's not the story, no. It's whether this lesbian just could couldn't contain her womanly attraction for this dude's cousin. She said you look good. See, that's exactly what happened. She's like, oh, she used to be a lesbian. Now she's saying that I look good. Oh, so what, you want to fuck me? Hey, Carla, you know what I do when my gay friends tell me that I look good? I look them dead in their gay eyes. <laughs> I look them dead on in their gay eyes and I say, thank you so much. I'm wearing the Gustav necklace that I shouldn't have announced this early. I don't think, hey, that gay person probably wants to shove their tongue down my throat right now. So Carla, maybe look inwardly on this one. It's good to hear, you know, everybody voice their opinions. You guys know I love you both. What I love about her. She don't want to spend some wedding. Oh my God. Again, the way this video started and the way that it's ending, this insane information is blowing me right now. <laughs> The fact that she's like, you know, I really appreciate this advice that you guys are giving me. Advice? They're just being homophobic. Then the cousin being like, love you both. Not addressing the fact that her cousin is a, you know, creep. And him jumping in with what I love about her is that she doesn't want an expensive wedding. This 18 at best lesbian that I got into a relationship with. Yeah, I'm just so fucking stoked that she doesn't want an expensive wedding. Here's the bare minimum. He's down here in jail. And then even from there, he's worse. She just doesn't want an expensive wedding. Yeah. Is there anything that you're bringing to this table at all? Oh my God. I really just hope she breaks up with him soon. Please, for the love of God. To go to the courthouse, the cheapest route possible. She'd rather live life with me. It's about us. And she makes me feel comfortable that it's about us. He's very caring. He's very hands-on. I come home, dishes washed, meal done. Awesome. He doesn't want to pay for you guys to have a wedding. Wedding, and he's very thrilled that you just want to go to the courthouse. But in return, that 51 year old man at least can do his own dishes. If you're 51 years old and you don't do your dishes yet, do you know what I mean? Like what I said about the bare minimum earlier, just because he does that, which is the bare minimum, doesn't mean the other stuff doesn't put him, you know, in the Greek Tartarus. He's the perfect wife. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to people who like to judge us, judge yourself. Look at your own life. Look at your own self in the mirror and ask yourself, could you take being judged? Hey, if you're judging me, look yourself in the mirror and say, how would you feel if you were a 51 year old man who started dating a woman in 2018 who was 18 at best and a lesbian would you want to be judged for doing that because i don't want to be don't judge me even though i did things that are really creepy and i'm homophobic towards my own why don't judge me because imagine if that was you hey guess what pal that's never gonna be me look at this not an 18 at best lesbian and i'm not 51 years old what <laughs> we're dating and we're not even freaky creepy not even a little bit i'm not freaky creepy for her and she's not freaky creepy for me. Her name is Sophia Diamond. And she's a star on TikTok and Instagram and was on Musical.ly. We kissed one time and now we're <laughs> girlfriend and boyfriend. She's also dead. <laughs> Sorry. She's so cool. Anyways, I just wanted to bring her into my life for a little bit of light and joy after watching that painful, painful video. God. So I guess the moral of this video is if you are a 45 year old man, do not pursue a relationship with a 18 at best lesbian. And I don't care how much the chocolate entices you. That chocolate kind of entices me. And also, homophobic people, stop talking about how much you think gay people want to fuck you. The only person who wants to fuck you is not them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, subscribe. I love you so much. They're alien who art in heaven, lean and skinny, about six foot seven. Though we know he ain't our brother, are you friend or foe? Or other. Hop on one foot, skip on two, dance the spaceman, howly do. Dance on the fourth foot, spring on three, let's be spaceman, howly dee, howly dee, howly dee, howly dee, howly dee, howly dee.